The graphic arms race is getting increasingly less important as time goes on. I mean, we used to sell games by demonstrating, oh look, you know, it's the same game, but the graphics are better now. <laughs> and that alone was enough to sell the game. Uh, but that, that curve has started to flatten out a bit. You know, we, we now can do total photo, photorealism and so on. And so that is less important than, uh, you know, giving players a, a deeper or a richer experience. And in fact, uh, just entertaining them in other ways. You know, the, the, the explosive growth of the casual free-to-play games, which use cartoony graphics that look like they're straight out of the 80s, that's fine too. And so, you know, there's millions of new players who've come to video gaming in the last five years who are perfectly happy to be playing Farmville, you know, and, and, and having um, uh, graphics that, you know, that, that, that look completely cartoony. So that's no longer a critical thing. Uh, on the other hand, I'm, of course, delighted to see continued technological growth, and in particular, we need to continue to improve our animation because our, our stuff looks photorealistic as long as it sits still. <laughs> <laughs> but they, you know, they still kind of look like marionettes uh, when they start to move. And you know, the masses are not modeled properly, collisions are not modeled properly. You know, the, the, the football games are probably the most sophisticated games around in terms of, of animation because they are, are modeling collisions between players. But it's very difficult to get that right. And so there's still a lot of, a lot of very exciting technological work to be done. And, and as a, a former programmer, I love it. Um, but it's not essential to sell games anymore. You know, it's, it's, it's just something that kind of would be nice.